How do you feel about uh, Kowalik's performance tonight and his goal? Yeah, I thought he did, did well. Um, did well with the goal. I thought, um, like a few guys tonight, distribution was off. Um, you know, final ball, final delivery wasn't there. Um, but good for him coming in and getting a goal. And what would you say about Brent Richards' performance tonight? As I say, I think that uh, at times, our young players played like young players in a professional environment. And they looked very nervous at times did some okay things, but I think if you look at it, you, have, you know, six or seven guys that are probably not going to start in the first team playing tonight. And as I say, it's, it's a really, really tough environment. The, the fans are not very forgiving here. And it's like you put on a uniform, they're expecting you to play to, to the top level. But these young players need a little bit of time to yeah, bed into the environment, and get used to the professional game. And so, as I say, at times we looked immature. And inexperienced, and then you know, showed it. Showed it. The, the, the big positive was going down one 0 to, to Chivas, and then with that young group coming back, it's going to go time to give up. That being said, does it surprise you that Ryan Kowalik has been able to come out and seemingly play pretty well? No, I, I mean it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me. I've seen the kids. Um, he used to come in and train with us quite regular last season, and always, always impressed me. And that's why we signed him. We think he's a good player, and I think he's ready to play in the first team right now. No, I think uh, Brett Richards is ready to play. No, they're, they're two or three years off. Um, you, you, can't, you can't force people into situations with them that they're not ready for. Um, that's why you've got to try and develop young talent. We've got you know, young Rincon playing there tonight, 18 year old. You know, don't know if he's ever played a professional game of soccer in his life, but showed flashes of, uh, of good things and then showed flashes of maturity and experience. But that's what you get with young players, you get inconsistent performances. Um, but for us, I mean, it was, it was, a, good, it was a great test for us. And a, and, a, and a great um, you know, baptism of fire for some of your clubs. Can you talk about the fact that you mentioned earlier about the fact that we did go down in this game and regardless of whether you have young players or old players in there, what does it mean for them to be able to be resilient and be able to come back and earn a draw? Yeah, well, I mean, the fans expect us to, to win every game here. So you can, you can feel the, the passion in the stadium and the, the nervousness in the stadium, it kind of relates to on, onto the field to the younger players that are not used to it. Um, and then you can see them get a little bit nervous at times if they made a mistake, you can see their heads going down. I told them half time, just believe in yourself. You know, you're good players, you deserve to be here. Um, I think it showed good character um, to keep fighting. You know, we, we never played well at all, we never passed the ball quick enough. And um, as I said, I think the occasion for too, too many young guys got a little bit you know, too much for them. But I'm um, sure I played them, they came back and um, equalised the tie they gave up, so I was happy with that. Were there any bright spots, players that you thought did show well? Well, I think that you know we, we brought in obviously Diego, and Diego gives us a, a lift. I mean, he doesn't care what game it is, you know, who he's playing with and who's who's missing. Um, he just comes in and he's like the energizer bunny. He buzzes around everywhere and just gives give us that little bit of a lift. And um, he's always calm and calm and quality on the ball. So I mean, I thought he, he came in did well. I thought Jack didn't do too bad in the first first game. We're missing so many bodies right now. Um, you know, three guys away national team duty. Injury list is pretty big, so we didn't want to play, you know, any guys that played in the game the other evening against San Jose. We didn't want to play tonight at all, but just for the situation that we've had to. So that's why we split the game with Jack and Diego, and it might be the same again come come the AIK game. Speaking of AIK, have you been able to catch any of their games at all? Um, no, just I came to stay and watch them, watch them play the other night against Chivas. See them score a couple of goals, so they're all tough games at this time of the year. Everybody's, you know, trying to figure out their best 11s. Everybody's still getting fit and still trying to get near maximum, you know, game fitness as they possibly can. So Chivas, as you've seen tonight, made multiple substitutions. We'd have loved to have made multiple substitutions. Um, obviously, we made just like two or three. We'd have loved to have made more or even played a different team, uh, but we couldn't just with the, with the situation of missing bodies. Last one for John. With Fre Freddie Braun played a lot on the outside going forward. Do you think that's where he's going to fit with this team, or do you think he's going to be more of a central midfielder? That he no, I mean, let's be fair. Look, we are so so strong in the central midfield, uh, central midfield area that you know Freddie's probably fourth, fifth, uh, fifth or sixth choice in that position. I mean, he said to play that just because we're short a shorter personnel. Uh, but you know, one thing about Freddie is he's got tremendous attitude. Uh, comes in every day and works hard, and it reflects in his play out there. He, he really seems to to rise to the occasion. Um, exhibition games, the kid never looks out of place, but as I say, in that area we've got Jewsbury, Achara, um, James Marcelin, Khalif, Darlington can play in there, so all quality, quality individual players. Thanks everyone, locker rooms open. Thank you.